Hi, and welcome back to Vero Beach Theater Guild's special project, Monologue Monday. I'm your host, Debbie Brandauer. Did you ever wonder what happened to Dorothy when she made it back to Kansas? Well, let's watch as Libby Balenson presents There's No Place Like Oz, written by Gabriel Davis. Oh, Toto, what were we thinking coming back here to Kansas? I'm sure the first few days back were great. Auntie M and Uncle Henry by my side, bringing me soup all hugs, kisses, and warmth. They were just so glad that I was okay. But now that I am fine, everything has just gone back to the way that it was. And Auntie Anne just acts like I'm in the way again. She's busy making sure that Uncle Henry tends to the farm properly, making sure that his farm hands don't sleep on the job. And plus, she's taking care of everything in the house, and, and I... Well, I'm just that annoying girl talking about scarecrows and tin men and emerald cities. Yesterday, she told me to stop talking such nonsense or she would call for the men in the white coats. I'm sure she was just trying to scare me, right, Toto? And TM loves me. She would never do that. What was that noise? Well, if she hears me talking to you, she would say, you're just a dog and that you don't understand. <laughs> Toto, you do understand me, don't you? I know you feel like I do. You long for the Emerald City, don't you? You wonder how the Scarecrow has gone on with his diploma. Has he gone on to the graduate studies? Tin Man in his heart, has he fallen in love? The Lion in his badge of courage, has he fought any great battle? If only we could write them. But we can't, can we, Toto? Well, the only way to see them again is to travel way off over the rainbow, way up high once again, to the land that everyone says we dreamed of. But it was more than a dream, wasn't it, Toto? Work twice for yes. Oh, Toto! Oh, Toto, you do understand me! That's why we have to get back to Oz, where everything is in color. And even the flying monkeys have song in their heart. I tried to click my heels together yesterday, but my slippers here are too drab. So, there's a jewelry shop in town, and they have rubies. What we need to do is to steal Uncle Henry's truck. You know, he keeps the shotgun in the shed, and we might need that too. Oh, no, no, it's not a crime, Toto. Not if nobody gets hurt. We need those rubies. And I've got the glue to attach them to my slippers. Before the police have arrived, we'll have glued the rubies onto my slippers, clicked our heels together, and we'll be well on our way back to Oz. It's the perfect plan. Right, Toto? Work twice for yes. <laughs> 